people of the internet, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here, hi my name is Sarah and I make mostly beauty videos, some special effects tutorials, mostly around Halloween. So do some unboxings and like review videos all in one. So if you guys want to see my thoughts and opinions on these guys, then just keep watching and let's do it! Now I will start out by saying that I have already opened this strictly because I didn't know if it had everything in it because I was told that one of the items was not going to be shipped out with the rest of the package so I just want to make sure when making this video that I had everything. With that said though, let's get started. So this package is from a site called Yes Style. If you were doing this sale, which is basically the reason why I got these items, I would not have paid full price for these because the sale price was still pretty astounding, but I decided to splurge a little bit, mainly to show you guys, but also so I could have something this cool to put in my room. I mean, it's makeup, so it is very usable, but it's also pretty cool to look at. <laughs> so I did get four things, although I only paid for three of them because you get a free sample in it. I don't know if the fourth item will have anything at all to do with the actual like Sailor brand makeup. We will see. So I'm going to start out with these smaller things first. They're definitely very tightly woven in bubble wrap. Okay, so as I can see but not read at all, this is the free gift that I got, which I literally don't have any idea what this is. I'm going to assume it's some kind of like mask type thing. Oh, it, it appears to be a nose strip. I'm glad they have pictures. All right, so the first thing that I pulled out that has anything at all to do with the Sailor Moon brand itself is this guy right here, which is the clear compact cheek color. That is beautiful. And how the heck do you open this up? Okay. All right, so opening this up, you have a mirror that's actually a decent size and you can totally see yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> then you just have this like one that usually comes with all the makeup products. It's actually pretty soft. I mean, I wouldn't use this, but it is soft. Then the cover and the makeup itself. And this is in the color Aurora Pink. I'm not sure how well you guys can actually see that, but it definitely is a really nice pink. It's pretty much a baby pink. I mean, it is a blush, so it's not supposed to be super, super pigmented. Although when buying these kinds of things, you really do need to keep in mind that you're paying mostly for the packaging, not really for the product itself. Then next product to look at is this guy right here. Sailor Moon Miracle Romance Liquid Eyeliner in black. And it opens up like a book. So it does come with three parts, obviously like the eyeliner portion, the eyeliner original lid, and then this guy right here, which I assume is just the topper. Yeah, all right, so it just fits on like this. It's a little weird that it doesn't push down anymore because now it's like the topper ends here and then the rest of the lid's here and then it continues on. So it is a little weird. Unfortunately though, when I actually tried to take the lid off, this just comes off automatically. So I really don't know what that's about. Maybe it's supposed to be at the other end. I'm not really sure, but continuing on, this is just a plain black. If they are still up on the site, I will leave everything in the description box down below if you guys would like to go see the collection. Now lastly, I will get into the biggest thing that I purchased, which is this guy right here. It's the Rainbow Moon Chalice Cheek. I think Chalice is how you say it. Chalice? Chalice? I'm pretty sure it's Chalice. So opening this bad boy up. And here is the Chalice itself. When I went to buy off the site, I did look at a couple of the reviews and most of the reviews said that this was smaller than anticipated. I mean, it is a little bit on the smaller side, but like I said, you're paying mostly for the packaging and not really for the product. So you're probably not gonna get too much product in here, but it is a very beautiful little thing. It is made out of plastic, so it's not very heavy, nor does it seem like it's super great quality, but it is kind of like on the collective side of things. So opening it up. And then you just get him inside. That's what she said. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there are little tabs here that I feel like you could just pull out the product, but I'm so scared that my nails might actually ruin this, so I don't know if I'm willing to try that out. Ah, success. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely not getting a super large amount of product in here. It's only about that big. But, taking this out of it, Chalice Mint is definitely cool. And then you can put literally anything in here. 
and in my opinion that this alone is pretty cool. I mean, wouldn't pay as much as I did for it if it was just like this, but it's still pretty cool. So I'm going to be trying this guy out to see how he works as an eyeliner. And now the other eye. And now first off, trying out the compact. I'm going to be putting the compact blush here and then the chalice blush here. Now the chalice. Well, first thing I notice when putting this on is how much kickback there is. Do you guys see that? Oh, God. I'm honestly not sure how well these are actually getting picked up on my camera, but I will quickly get into how much I actually paid for all of these items. For the Sailor Moon Miracle Romance Liquid Eyeliner in the color black, I paid $17.30 for this. Do I think it's worth it? Um, I probably wouldn't be buying this again unless it was, like I said, a collector's item. $17.30 is something that I would buy at Sephora because it is more high-end. This basically just works like any eyeliner I've ever tried, so there's nothing too special about it besides the fact that it is kind of a collector's item. Coming back to the Clear Compact, which was again in Aurora Pink, I paid $45.81 for this guy. And I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful packaging. Do I think it's worth it? I think the packaging is really cute and if it was cheaper, it would obviously be a lot cheaper quality because like I said, you're not paying for the product inside of it, you're paying for the packaging. And I wasn't sure if you could actually see the pigmentation on my cheeks. This guy has quite a bit of pigmentation, I would say. It's a lot more than the other one, which I will get into in a second, but this one actually shows up on my cheek. There is some pigmentation there. It actually looks like I may have been out in the sun in the past couple days, which I have. And lastly, the chalice. This guy was whopping at $68.26, which is a little excessive in my opinion, but I really want to try it out for you guys, and now I have this little guy in my collection. Do I think it is worth the pricing? Like I've said throughout this entire video, having this in my possession is going to be really cool to be able to talk about or just be able to gloat about a little bit inside my head. However, I don't think it's actually worth the price seeing as how there was a lot of chalkiness in this and I don't see any of it on my actual cheek. It kind of just, it looks like straight up powder, like almost translucent powder just on my cheek where I placed it. So there isn't very much pigmentation, plus it's really, really chalky. So I would definitely, if you are going to get one of these guys, I would probably just get the clear compact because it's cheaper and it has more pigmentation and let's be honest, it's cute as all hell. <laughs> But that is it for my video today and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!